Hey, it's Dr. Ken. I am here in South Carolina, here in Conover Wellness, a clinic by Dr. Craig Conover. He is an integrative and regenerative medicine physician working with the world's top biohackers, including Ben Greenfield, Aubrey Marcus. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We're going to jump right in and talk about the three main regenerative technologies, stem cells, exosomes, and PRP or platelet-rich plasma. So Dr. Conover, what is platelet-rich plasma and how do, we, how do we harvest it? Yeah, so the way I think about it, if you were to um, cut your knee, for example, um, we recruit platelets to the scene to help control the bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. The first priority is stop the bleeding if we're bleeding. Okay, once we stop the bleeding, we then need to repair that tissue, repair that wound. So the platelets then, you know, in a way, call for this, these cell factors, these growth factors to come to the scene to lay down new tissue, right? And that's why we scab and get a new knee tissue. And that that is the PRP that's derived, that's signaled from the platelet and then we call it the platelet-rich plasma. So what we do to get that is we draw blood from the patient and then we use a special tube and spin it down the centrifuge which separates the red blood cells from that plasma. Um, and then we're able to extract that plasma and give it back to the patient wherever we want to give it and wherever we give it we're going to get you know again the idea is we get that same type of healing that we get mm -hmm. which is great because it comes from each patient so it's super super safe and um, can really you know help move the needle how long have you been working with regenerative medicine but several years you know my practice has evolved taking on different flavors over the of the course of it but probably in the last five years we've really kind of dug in and kind of gotten on that trajectory of, of regeneration, rejuvenation, performance. And just for this stu uh, studio audience here, what exactly does regenerative medicine entail? Yeah, I, the way I think about it is, is really just rejuvenating our tissue, rejuvenating our cells. You know, we stress ourselves out so much with our thoughts, what we eat, things in the environment, work stress. That takes its a physical toll on our body. This is why we age, this is why we get disease. What we're trying to do in regenerative medicine is kind of replenish ourselves with the nutrients we need and then re reset ourselves so that we can actually make ourselves younger, age more gracefully. So we use a lot of uh, intravenous nutrients, one in particular NAD+. We use intravenous stem cells, exosomes. We use a lot of peptides, injectable peptides, certainly bioidentical hormones, certain nutrients, and I think the key to it all, at least what we found, is kind of how do you stack these different mm -hmm. therapeutic agents in ways that are number one safe, and then number two gonna be efficient and effective in helping the, the patient. Oh, great. Now people talk about stem cells, yeah. and I know they can get it from both their own body yeah. and then also from a, a general bank. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so what's probably used most widely now is autologous stem cells, so you get your own fat grafted, you get a bone marrow aspirate, and then that, that cell tissue is harvested, grown into stem cells, and then given back in some format. Um, what's happened in the last couple years is the FDA has approved umbilical cord stem cells. So these come from publicly donated, mostly cesarean section, umbilical cords, which are going to be thrown away anyway. Mm -hmm. um, they're donated to, um, like you said, public tissue banks. Uh, the stem cells are harvested, everything's tested, and then they're processed so that we literally get shipped vials of these stem cells that are frozen that we can then give back to the patient. Now, um, people who don't like umbilical cord stem cells say, oh, you're gonna have a reaction, they're from someone else. But the interesting aspect is, is that they're immune naive, so we don't get any reactions. Um, very, very safe, and the best part is they're age zero. They are the most potent stem cells, as far as we know, that we can give. And just from a science point of view, you're getting the most potent cells. So that's what we focus on. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so those are stem cells. Yes. Tell me about exosomes. Exosomes are a little bit more mysterious, I think. Uh, not, not necessarily mysterious, but harder to understand. Uh, exosomes are acellular material. Mm -hmm. They're vesicles. It can be in really mm -hmm. any tissue. Um, they're vesicles, and the way I think about them, they are like the envelopes that mm -hmm. carry the message. Mm -hmm. uh, now, are they found inside the stem cells? And 
Are, are they vesicles within the stem cells? I think they're, they're vesicles that can be in any cell. Mm, okay. And, the, and technically, I think they carry your messenger RNA. Mm -hmm. So they're carrying this message from the stem cells. Mm -hmm. So again, like the envelopes in the mail, they're gonna carry the message. The way I see it, just in my mind, is they take that message farther than just the stem cells alone. Right. And so we combine them with stem cells, and that's what we're seeing, a, a more magnified result. I heard Dave Asprey uh, refer to exosomes as stem cell juice. Yeah, I, you know, the analogy that I um, use, you know, if we're talking about like injecting a knee, the stem cells are the seeds. Okay. The PRP is the fertilizer. Exosomes are the water. Oh, okay. And, and growing that plant, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the trilogy there. You know, seeds, fertilizer, and water. What's the uses for these regenerative technologies? Where are people injecting yeah. them? Most people are doing it for some orthopedic complaint. Mm -hmm. So the most we do is we'll do a knee, a shoulder, a hip, soft tissue. People have obviously a lot of neck and back pain. We'll inject soft tissue um, to help build up the tissue integrity of that tissue. Um, that's far and wide where most people come in there have some sort of pain complaint. Mm -hmm. um, next, we use it um, just for wellness, overall rejuvenation of tissue, where people just want to be younger, they mm -hmm. want to prevent things, they want to age more gracefully. And then third would be cosmetically. We use the you know, stem cells PRP in people's face, we mm -hmm. use it in the scalp, um, things like that to get better looking skin, better hair growth, things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're also using them for sexual function too. That's true, yeah. It's using PRP with stem cells to inject the penis, help with erectile dysfunction, um, help with sensitivity of tissue. Same thing um, for a female, inject into different vaginal tissue for, like you said, rejuvenation of that tissue, yeah. All right, yeah. well super. Where do people find you online? Easiest place is we're on Instagram, at Conover Wellness. Our website is conoverwellness.com. Keep it simple. Great. Well, thanks for your time today. Thank you.